Hey guys, Jeff here, Aromatics. Well, it looks like I have a little bit more time today, so I'm taking this time to bang out a bunch of reviews to get caught up, because it's been a while, and it might be a little while since, uh, until I can do another review. I gotta work this weekend, so I'm sitting outside having a coffee in my Yeti mug. Do any of you guys have Yeti mugs down in the States or around the world? Up here in Canada, they're kind of a more expensive type of mug, but they've got a nice little magnet cap on top so they're really easy to clean and they keep your coffee hot for a long time they're just a really handy cup but they're pretty pricey pretty durable so I really like it it's great for when you're sitting outside for a long time reading a book um, smoking a pipe and you want a coffee or even a cold drink they're uh, really they're a necessity for me anyway I uh, it's one of those things that you just have to have for the lifestyle that I live of you know when I'm, uh, I get a chance to sit outside. I usually am sitting outside for quite a while doing my reading or just relaxing or whatever. So anyway, um, enough about that. Today I'm going to do a quick review on Gowth and Hogarth's Boson Cut Plug. Now I'll show you a picture of it here. It is, I imagine it's a plug at some point and then they cut off a flake and then rub it out because it looks like sort of a rubbed out flake or a um, broken flake, if you will. Now the pouch note that I smell in there is your typical if Lakeland smell. So it's perfumey, it's floral, and underneath of that, like say with just like the dark flake scented, you just pretty much get a light Virginia smell and a heavy Lakeland smell. This has got a heavy Lakeland smell, but it also has a little bit of that barbecue dark fired smell. Cause in this there this tobacco there is some some unique tobaccos that are pretty much the type of tobaccos that Gowth and Hogarth or the English um, blends from England use, like from Zimbabwe and Malawi and Brazil. Um, it's different. I, I don't know. I've never heard too many American tobacco companies that use those tobaccos as much as the Gowth and Hogarth and Samuel Gowth use them. But they're very unique. They're usually stronger. And not quite as light tasting like there's not as much hay and grass and it, there's a lot more cigar notes or deeper notes um, and a lot less tongue bite I find too they're good tobaccos and then of course you have that Lakeland smell if you don't know what that is it's sort of like some people say grandma's perfume some people say urinal cakes um, some people say like flowers like rose or geranium I think it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a um, bergamot tea sometimes but there's different sometimes they add a little bit of licorice to it as well so not every Lakeland is exactly the same but they all seem to have that unifying smell of flowers or perfume so it definitely has that so um, let me light up here and I'll talk while I smoke Don't let the perfume fool you. They're manly man smokes. Those um, toppings just sublimate or soften up those pretty, pretty strong tobaccos underneath. Deep, dark fired, cigar -y. If you've ever had those Tuscano cigars from Italy, um, they're also the same tobacco that's used in San Sepulcro by Cornell and Deal. And it's got a really heavy clove and barbecue style of flavor. And that has that underneath. So not only are you getting that nice Virginia taste, those unique Virginias, you're also getting a nice barbecue-y, yeah, barbecue and a dark fired cigar flavor underneath that. But the toppings sweeten it up a little bit. So it's not, not harsh, just, just strong, meaty, flavorful. This is a really good tobacco for me because I like strong flavors, but it's kind of aromatic at the same time. So there's some days like I'm in the mood for something aromatic, something with a topping, but I want to taste tobacco. So I don't want your typical Sutliff, you know, maple flavor. You know, sometimes I want something that has a nice, you know, topping, but there's some tobacco underneath. And that's when I go to a lot of these Gowth and Hogarth blends like this. Close some cut plug, which is not staying lit because I'm talking too much. They are, they do need to be dried out like classical pipe says, dry them out, you know, and then and then when you think they're dried out too much, dry them out a little bit more. So that's pretty much how I do them too. And then they burn good and they seem to absorb a little bit more moisture. So 
they don't they don't suffer from too much drying so and yeah no bite puff away at your leisure and uh, hard to come by I, I I don't smoke them a lot so I don't have a ton of them but it's good it's good to always grab about you know four or eight ounces uh, of a couple of these Galatog Earth blends for when they do you know it's not something you want to smoke all the time but there's just those certain times when nothing else will do like right now so okay that's my review of Gallith and Hogarth's Boson Cut Plug. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on my next review. Take it easy. Aromatics, signing out.